Chaza. Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? John from Titan here, and I am at the lab, about to get lab work. So I'm gonna wait for a few of you guys to join in. And we'll see what's going on here. Is there a Garrett? Garrett? Here's my license. Okay, for lab work, when you come to get your lab work, you're gonna need two things. You're gonna need your piece of paper or your, your code, you know, off that piece of paper. And you're gonna need your driver's license. What up, Carolina? How you doing? I'm telling everybody about blood work today and how easy it is to get done. I'm gonna get blood work done myself today. Yeah. Actually, me and Shuri's. So, uh, at that point, we want to talk to you guys and tell you guys, Carolina, text the, the line, 727-389-3220. Um, and they should be able to give you an update on your package. I'm at the lab and checking in right now. We're gonna do some routine blood work, Titan style. Not routine blood work like your primary care physician does for you, but routine Titan style. And what do I mean by that? I mean that we're gonna check for a variety of different things um, when it comes down to what's going on in our body. So for me, I'm gonna check, obviously, we're gonna check the liver, kidneys, electrolytes, we're gonna check on prostate, uh, we're gonna check a complete blood cell count. So complete blood cell count, basically that entails uh, white blood cells, red blood cells, hemoglobin, hematocrit, and we talked about this before, when you're on HRT, hormone replacement therapy, that you will possibly have to donate blood twice a year. Can you hear me now? Can you guys hear me? Pedro, can you hear me? I wanna know if you guys can hear me. So I'm here at LabCorp. I'm about to do routine blood work. And at that point, I just went through some of the things I'm gonna get tested like CMP, which is a comprehensive metabolic panel. And that consists of like electrolytes, your liver, your kidneys. Now, after that, we're gonna do a complete blood cell count. Like I said, white blood cell count, red blood cell count, hemoglobin, hematocrit, and we talked about those. Um, Jason, it's not, it's not a problem, man, it's very easy. Just call or text the line, 727-389-3220. If you wanna watch the rest of this video, I'm gonna get my blood work done here live so you guys can see how easy it is and uh, you know, how, you know, it's, it's very simple, very easy. Okay, so I gotta go stand by this thing. We're doing our check-in right now, so. Make sure you hit that little button that comes up that says uh, okay. like other responsible. So problems. basically, after the complete blood cell count, and we talked about hemoglobin, hematocrit, red blood cells, possibly going high on hormone replacement, and having to dump blood or donate twice a year. So you wanna make sure you're at least checking up and monitoring those things if you're on hormone replacement therapy or any androgens, okay? All right, so we're gonna go down the list. Prostate for males only, because males only have prostates. Females don't. Um, at that point, we're gonna go down and we're gonna check free and total testosterone ranges. So what is my free and total? How much testosterone I have in my body and how much I'm gonna utilize or it's utilizing at that point in time. We're gonna test estradiol levels, which is estrogen, it's E2 right, at that point. We're gonna see what our estrogen levels are for, you know, I wanna make sure I don't have water retention, irritability, I don't want any gynecomastia, right? I don't want fat deposits, high estrogen levels, and they associate with cancer it, it, a, along with that. So don't do that either. So we wanna make sure we're gonna test that. Progesterone levels, IGF-1 levels, we're gonna test all that too. Plus we're gonna test full thyroid, so TSH, thyroid stimulating hormone, and T3 and T4, and these all go together. Right, we're gonna test those things. We're also gonna test a cholesterol panel, a lipid panel, right? So at that point, um, well, we're seeing this right here, and it's real simple, real easy. So I'm using my primary. Um, so when you check this, it'll be my employer and other companies responsible. So Titan will automatically set you up anywhere in the country for blood work. All you gotta do is call or text 727-389-3220. And we can give you guys the slip. We'll take care of everything. And at that point, um, you know, we'll take care of blood work. So let me walk Sharice back through this. So Sharice, this is how it should be. When we go to start over here, when this does circle in, um, what happens is it asks for multiple options on this on this little form. 
multiple options. You can't check in within the next four minutes. You won't be able to get your blood drawn today. Well, listen, I'm going to try to check in within the next four minutes, and at that point, it will hopefully it will work. But when this screen comes up, it's going to say another company or somebody else is responsible for this, and that's what you're going to have to check when you guys go in. It's not gonna be anything else. So if you guys are seeing anything else, make sure you ask one of the attendants at the lab that you're at, or you can call us at Titan and we'll walk you through it. That's what we're here for. So once we set you up for blood work, you guys will be good. What up, Casey, how you doing? All right, is there a mailing address? so it should be very simple. Let's see how simple it is. Uh, technology is supposed to simplify everything. They're trying to push everybody to these new like, you know, kiosk stations here at these labs, just like McDonald's is and like all these places. I don't go to McDonald's, but I have read about it. Uh, and they're looking to get rid of everything. Okay, so I use my employer or another company is responsible for this visit. That's correct, right? Correct. All right, so that's what I pressed. Oh, there, that's the right screen. That's what I pressed. Okay, so my stuff comes up. So I'm doing this right, thank Routine. God. Routine blood work, awesome. Uh, does not include? Uh, no. No. All right, awesome. So. Perfect, perfect. Where perfect. can I get one of those? <laughs> Dude, just call or text the line, Justin. We got you, all right? All right, all right. So we're gonna go sit down now, see, and we're gonna wait. It's in the, it's, it's in the lab and we're going to wait here. So I'm getting my blood checked here at the lab, guys. If you guys don't know how easy it is, it's very simple for you guys to get all these tests ran, plus other tests like vitamin D. We, we, we forget about how important vitamin D is to our system. And a lot of us are vitamin D deficient, even people that live in Florida. Florida is a sunshine state, so they think that automatically if they go out in the sunshine, they spend 30 minutes out there, they're going to get enough vitamin D for their body to convert it. It's a fact that some people's bodies do not convert into vitamin D from the sunlight. That's why a lot of supplementation has been going on. A lot of doctors are starting to look into this and getting to see it. Yes, if you have a cholesterol panel on here, like a lipid panel, guys, you guys should be fasted, okay? Unless it's water or black coffee. Usually about 12 hours is what they say. But if it's, there's not a cholesterol panel on there, you do not have to worry about it. Another thing you guys should get checked out is hemoglobin A1C. We could add that on your package, very simple, very easy. And what a hemoglobin A1C is, is it's a three month average of what your sugar levels are. This can tell you if you're diabetic, non-diabetic, and where you stand. This way you guys are prepared and you guys know exactly what you guys should be doing to, to really you know, prevent possible diabetes, um, you know, if it runs in your family and stuff like that, you guys need to get a, a lock on it and see what's going on. It's a silent killer. It is a silent killer. That and blood pressure. A lot of people, their blood pressure and all that, I mean, it's, it's just no good, man. So at that point, you guys need to keep a lock on it. I'm dealing with this right now with my dad. He, you know, he's got high blood pressure and he's got, he was, had, he had diabetes. Uh, at that point, it's went all the way back. I mean, we've got him down to pre-diabetic um, with some medications and stuff like that, changing his diet, being more active and stuff. And he's always been active, but it's just at this point, like the diet change, more water, hydration, water is key, man. I don't know how much I can tell you guys that. When you guys go and do your blood test, whether you do the blood test with us or somebody else, make sure you're really hydrated. And I don't mean drinking like a 12 ounce or 16 ounce liter bottle. Drink a like you know a, at least a liter, two liters of water, not like a 16 ounce bottle or 12 ounce yeah, bottle. That's not enough for you to be hydrated. Like at that point, you really need to say. just keep a lock on it, right? Uh, we um, talked about sugar levels, so you're gonna get a glucose level on our test. A glucose level can be affected though if you do not fast, but usually that'll tell you, and that's usually a marker, and that's what primary care users do. If they see that glucose and they say, oh, he's fasted, and it's real high, like 121, or it's, it's upper, they will send you in for hemoglobin A1C, and then they'll tell you right then and there, like, oh, we need to put you on some medications usually. Guys, usually if it's diet and exercise, that can change a lot of different things. If you're, you're overweight, this, getting the weight off is the most important thing you can do. And don't be unhealthy about doing it. There's healthy ways about going, getting the weight off. It might not come off overnight, but progression is key and being consistent as possible in what you do, man. Can you do OD on? Oh, yes. Okay, good, good, good point, Justin. So, all water vitamins, water-soluble vitamins, like B-complex or B-vitamins and stuff like that, you can take as much as you want. 
because you're just going to excrete it out of your system. It's not toxic to the body. Or an oil-based one like vitamin D, it is toxic to the body. So you got to make sure you get a blood test and see where you're at. You don't want to you know, OD on vitamin D. A routine blood checkup. Blood, what, do you have the lab order? I don't. I, I, I'm sure he's, lab court beacon. I'm on beacon. Uh, I can look up my order. All right, guys, give me one second. All right. How did you get the order? She, she's having a problem with this. All right, so I'm I'm, I'm gonna have my my beautiful wife check me in. So that's a beautiful thing. Sorry, guys, I'm live. You know, I do it myself, but Sharice is definitely gonna help me out in this situation so I can keep explaining these things to you. So vitamin D, ODing on it. Yes, you can. It can be toxic if you take in too much vitamin D. So blood test for vitamin D so you know where your levels are at. You know if you do need a supplement or where you stand. Um, at that point, that's a really good one. Food sensitivity testing. Let's say you change your diet for the New Year's resolution and you, you just don't know what's going on. You want to make sure you might be bloating in some area or some days and not. Um, at that point, you don't know if it's the food you're eating or what's going on. You can food sensitivity test. That means you can pick different foods. You can test if you're, you have a sensitivity allergy to these foods. Uh, and at that point, they could be causing bloating or stuff like that. You can eradicate it, change your diet, and possibly get on a better course there. So that's another option we have. We have all kinds of different testing, cortisol testing. If you're highly stressed, that, that's, I mean, that hormone right there, the cortisol, I mean, at that point, it, you know, it can add water retention. It can cause a lot of different negative health effects to the body. So that's another one to look into. But um, at that point, that's really uh, the, the, the big, big meat and potatoes of what we're going to do today and what we're covering. Um, there's a lot more to cover. I just don't want to throw it all into this video. I think it'd just be over too much, uh, oversaturating what I'm talking about. But yeah. so, <laughs> what do you think about blood testing, Cherise? Oh, hi. What's up, guys? Sorry, I'm tired. I've been up all night. I don't feel good. Um, anyways, I need to get my blood tested. Obviously, I get my hormones checked. Um, but I'm really, I mean, really here because I want to get my CBC done, see where my white blood cell count is at, make sure I don't have any weird infections going on or um i'm also going to get my liver enzymes checked which is in a cmp which is a complete metabolic um we do a cmp 14 so it runs a 14 panel on you and that checks your glucose it also checks how dehydrated you are kidneys it checks your liver all that jazz so um yeah i don't know what's going on with my gallbladder it's doing this little spasm thingy majiggy and I just want to make sure it's okay because it doesn't feel good. So anyways, um, I'm here and these people are actually really good, this particular location. They're really good at drawing blood. Whenever I do get my blood drawn, I always ask for a butterfly needle. And when they tell me they don't have one, then I tell them to go find it since I know that they do have one. They just don't like to use it because it takes a lot longer to draw the blood than it does a vacutainer. Because with the vacutainer, you can get a lot of blood out. It's a bigger gauge needle. I want to say the vacutainer is probably, if I had to guess off the top of my head, God, it's been so long. I want to say it's probably like a 21 gauge. Oh, um, here, I'll bring you. I'll come. Draw you. Oh, oh yeah. one man show. Not allowed to have any days off. Uh, <laughs> usually, I get my blood drawn by the same guy. He uh, he but I don't think he's here today, so we're gonna get drawn in here in the lab, and I'm gonna go through it with you guys. So you can see it. Personal or, or opinion, I think you should include omega threes in your HRT protocol. Hey, I agree. And listen, I, I understand that uh, the fish oils and stuff like that are, are very essential. Uh, Justin, especially what we talked about. Mm.
And with Which that arm? means, uh, I'm You've going to the right. Name. Sorry. It doesn't matter. All right. So we're going to do a blood test for you guys live. I'm doing a CMP, Comprehensive Metabolic Panel, which is liver, kidneys, electrolytes, and a little bit of more. Just check, just We're going to do a complete blood cell count. Check. You didn't drink enough water, She's so checking you know. my veins. I did not hydrate. Like, I'm telling you guys to hydrate today. Bad John. Bad John. Bad John. It was an early morning. It's been a long day this morning. So, I'm not as veiny as I usually am. I'm usually veiny today, you but... Uh, Hercules potion, yeah. No Hercules potion either. I, mean, I made sure that I came in here without doing anything that could affect the test in any way, shape, or form. I wanna get the most accurate results possible. So in this, I'm doing a CMP, which is a comprehensive metabolic panel. Like I said, liver, kidneys, electrolytes, a complete blood cell count, white blood cell count, red blood cell count, oh, hemoglobin, like hematocrit, right? Prostate, we're gonna do- uh, Okay, ready? Oh, I'm ready. Oh, here we go. Let's see if she's as good as Pablo. Oh, she's good. Of course I'm good. She's good. <laughs> She's good. So. The blood's going in. Yeah. John's a soldier. Yep, pretty much. So guys, we're testing all the hormones like free and total testosterone, estradiol, progesterone, IGF-1 levels, which is ins insulin growth factor 1, B12 levels, Vitamin D. Full thyroid. Hemoglobin I'm, A1C. Yeah, I'm, I'm testing a, a couple more extra more panels on mine. So hemoglobin A1C, which is the average three months of my sugar levels. Vitamin D to make sure that I have proper vitamin D levels because that can have negative health effects on you if you do have deficiency in vitamin D. Tubes and tubes of blood. Gotta love it, guys. Hope some of you guys are not... Uh, sensitive out there and got weak stomachs. Oh, throw a video. Get over it. Yeah. <laughs> so that's it, guys. Pretty simple, pretty easy. You're going to stay here for probably about five minutes. It's not five minutes. Uh, I'm just two minutes? Yeah, two. <laughs> it's easy. It's easy. You did a good job. Now let's just make sure she can get my thing. Vials. <laughs> Okay, put your finger. Put your finger. All right, all right, guys. That's the blood draw. I hope you guys are good. She's Look, see, he just has to make sure he applies pressure. He's gonna die. Put that back on there. No, no, no. Apply pressure. Apply, pre apply pressure. When they leave you with the gauze, you apply pressure. Are you gonna die? No, I'm just kidding. You won't die. But it won't be good. You'll bleed and you'll bruise and all that other jazz. Then they put on some nice, pretty tape, and then you get a sticker. I'm sure there's a sticker and a lollipop for him, right? <laughs> All right, guys, that was a blood draw. Nice, simple, easy. Right. I'm John from you Titan. You guys can set up you your blood draw people. nationwide. Like Call 727-389-3220. Tell them John sent you and they'll give you the discount.